Hello, I'm Doctor of Traditional Chinese Medicine, Christiane Parrott. Today, I will be discussing a common problem that we face every day, stress. We all know that stress over time has a negative impact on our health and is a major contributing factor to heart disease and has a negative impact on our sleep, our digestive health, our adrenal function, all of which can lead to a weakening of our immune system. When our immune system is not firing on all cylinders, we have a problem. In Chinese medicine, we look at stress more specifically by examining which specific emotions are involved. What emotion or combination of emotions are creating our stress? For some, stress is due to fear. Others, from overwork or frustration or a combination of any of these. Any of the emotions experienced in the extreme or consistently over time, especially without an outlet to release them, will build up and will weaken or obstruct the energy of the organ or the meridian that is affected by that emotion. An extremely common example, and one that I see daily in my practice, is that of stress headaches. A common form of stress in our society is frustration. In our job, in our family life, we can feel frustrated by things both large and small. I know for me, my biggest frustration every day is getting through traffic, getting stopped by every red light on the way to and from work, or getting stuck in construction for an hour or more. This frustration builds up and leads to a disruption in the wood element and subsequently our liver's ability to keep our chi flowing smoothly, which in turn results in feeling irritated more easily. Also affected is the wood element's yang meridian, the gallbladder meridian. Tension builds in the meridian, especially at pressure points in the shoulders, neck, and in the temples. So, what can we do to help ourselves and our bodies to deal with the stress that we have in our lives? Acupuncture is an extremely effective way to keep ourselves mentally and physically healthy when challenged by stress. I also highly recommend massage therapy to help release tense muscles. Something you can do at a, on your own at home or at work is to use certain acupoints and massage them to help calm the mind and to relax the body. You can also use essential oils such as lavender in a diffuser in your home or on points on your body. Regular meditation exercise, and a balanced diet full of fresh produce and foods high in antioxidants all help us to cope with stress and to keep ourselves healthy. So the two points I use the most often for relieving stress are pericardium 6, which is about two inches or about three fingers up from the distal wrist crease or the wrist crease closest to your hand between these two tendons, so the tendon closest to your radial bone, just with the thumb, in between those two tendons and you just press in there nice and hard and just rub a little bit. And this really helps to calm the mind. It also lowers blood pressure and lowers your heart rate. The next point we use very, very commonly is known as calm the mind point, which is on the wrist crease here and just on the inside of your pisiform bone, which is right at the heel of your hand. So just come to the inside of that on the wrist crease and press there and just massage it. And I like to give it a pretty good firm deep massage but you can be more gentle if if you want to. I find the the deeper you can get into it the better. And this one is just really good for calming the nerves, relieving stress. It also helps you sleep at night. Another great point for relieving stress and tension, especially in the liver meridian, is to go between your large toe and your second toe and move up 
There's a nice groove there between your metatarsal bones. You'll feel where that groove ends, and just in front of that there should be a nice sensitive spot. Right in between those two bones, just where they meet up here. And this is a really great point for releasing tension in the liver meridian. And it's quite sensitive, so you don't have to press that hard. And massaging it does the body a lot of good. Stress is not a small problem. The American Institute of Stress estimates that stress in the workplace costs the nation more than $300 billion each year in health care, missed work, and stress reduction efforts. So I hope that you can use the information from this webinar to decrease the impact of stress in your life so that you can be a happier and healthier person. Until next time, my best to your health and happiness.